so now you guys are the showcase players and someone from the showcase players decides to throw a new name on there. What is that new name? The homeboy Eric Skillerin, uh, we was doing, we was, we was having a meeting up here at the park. And he came, he came to the park because at that time, that's when everybody was wearing the uh, sort of Batman jackets with the writing on the back and uh, old English lettering. So he had a jacket that said Killer Skiller on the back. And, uh, and on the patch, it had uh, this cloud and this low rider coming out the sky with a hand coming out, uh, a left hand coming out the sky, throwing up a seven. And, and it said, on the seventh day, low riders were born. And we thought that was the coldest saying, or we thought it was the coldest jacket ever, that patch. So everybody went and got that jacket in a patch. So now we walking around with jackets and patches on and we said, man, let's just call it the seventh day. People thought that was kind of like, the seventh day? What, the, what does that even mean? So we decided, look, every seventh day of the month, we're going to go out and terrorize or do something. You know what I mean? Scrupulous. Go, go jack the liquor store, uh, go, in, go in the grocery store, grab a bunch of shit, run out. So on, on, on every seventh of the month, we did something kind of crazy. And it just, it just turned into kind of, you know, like a, a wild thing. We were up here drinking, smoking, and getting high. And, and, and the seventh day was, uh, was, was something, something about it. You know what I mean? And then they, uh, I guess everybody started hearing about it. Like, who was these seventh day guys? Who was this click? And I guess the east side got word of it. Because I remember one day coming from school, and I saw seven gay on the wall. And I'm like, what, are they dissing us? And, and that's how I realized that, damn, we became a gang and not really knew that's what it was at the time. I mean, we was, I guess we was gang banging, but uh, we, wasn't, we wasn't engulfed like that. You know, cause we still went to school with cats up from here, that was that's, that moved to the east side, that was still part of our family somewhat, like Reese Cup. You know, he moved, I, I was, we was on the west side together hanging out, and then I never seen him, he moved to the east side. You know, and then I didn't see him two years later, and he was rolling 20 crip, and I was like, damn, that's crazy. You know, but we were still, we were still family. So Reese Cup was, uh, uh, I don't know, he came to the west side in the, uh, at the end of the fifth grade at Garfield. And uh, he was a little tough kid, you know, want to beat up on everybody, bully everybody. <laughs> but he was humble, you know? Like he, like he wouldn't let nobody bother you or if he was with you, that's, that was him. But he always had, had some scraps in him. He wasn't called Reese Cup at the time, he was, his name was Eric. Eric Frazier. Forgive me for saying his name, but that's my homeboy, so. <laughs> uh, he lived down the street. I, we, I used to go to his house. He used to spend the night. We used to ride bikes. Uh, his brother, uh, Maurice Frazier, was called Reese Cup. So that's where he got his name from. Reese. So once you know, I mean, Cup was—I mean, he was a—he was a—he was a pillar in uh, Long Beach, man. He was, you know, he was—he was—he was the guy. He was the no. If you knew somebody, he would, no matter what, help you out, uh, uh, do whatever he can to help somebody, no matter what hood you was from. He was always one to kind of put things together. Like he would call hoods together at his mama house. So, I mean, unfortunately what happened to him, but uh, he could have been a star, man. He was one of the greatest quarterbacks around. 
He, he was really good. He was a star at, at Long Beach Poly, but he just, his head wasn't wrapped up tight. He was, <laughs> he was out there. He was, he was hungry for that, that nest, that next lick, you know. It's my boy, though. I love him. Do you know why his family moved from the west side to the east side? His mom bought a house. His mother bought a house on the east side. Did both? Did the other brother also live on the west side? Maurice. He's Maurice the, did he's too. the older brother, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lived on the west side as well. Yeah. They were all in the same family, same house. Same yeah. house. Uh huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, if he would have never moved, it would be fair to say that he be, he would have evolved into the seventh days with you guys, if he would have stayed on this side. Yeah, hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent. Yeah. He might say, hell no, but I mean, you never know because his brother kind of, you know what I mean? His brother was already kind of, uh, because they moved from the east side. So his brother was still kind of engulfed on that side. So most likely he would have probably been on the, he, most likely he would have probably been on the uh, east side. So they were on the east side first, then it came to the west side, and then yeah. went back to the east side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you mentioned a couple other guys that were known originally on the west side, but I guess made their name on the east side. Yeah, so so one of my best friends, uh, uh, Kool-Aid, what they call him, uh, uh, Michael Dees, was, uh, uh, me and him used to do all kind of shit together, man. That was it's one of my, you know, he, he's like family. And he had a big cousin named Iceberg. And that's when I guess Insane was really kind of just taking off. And, uh, and somehow uh, we had somehow we had inquired a bunch of guns, and Mike gave them to his cousin, <laughs> and we was a little upset about that. And then Mike ended up going to uh, LP or YA for some reason, and when he came home, uh, he was claiming insane, and he never really came back to the West Side because he was in and out of prison. And I seen him a few years after that. I mean, we still had love for one another. You know what I mean? So, you know, that, that's, that was my family. Thanks for watching StreetTV.net. If you're not subscribed, please hit that button below and click the bell to receive alerts and notifications. Feel free to comment below so you can give us your feedback and be sure to watch the two related episodes to the right. If you want to support this platform or follow us on social media, visit the links in the description. And thanks for watching StreetTV.net.